Well, since John is in here, let's see if, uh, how long we can go. Because I, I, he doesn't like to go late, because he lives far away. Just give me hope. I'll, I'll deal with it tomorrow, right, Phil? Okay. I'll get you home, man. I'm not, we, it might, it'll be tomorrow. We might be wrapped around a tree. We might end up walking. Yeah, shut the fuck up. But if that's... I think that's good team building. Yeah. Uh, this take Uber home. And, and you were just saying that, uh, you know, we're always catching up and yeah. you've got things to I was just share. saying, that's how they get together. We, 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 we don't have like a DUI story yet, though. But I never got to have one. Ooh, no. Well, and doesn't it, is it on your bucket list? I don't drive. How could I get a DUI? Unless I ride around with a bike. Is it on your bucket list to steal a car and no. then get a DUI? I, I'm not that... I'm not that uh, hardcore. <laughs> All right. Well, are we gonna start? Is the camera rolling? Yeah, it is. We're hey. good. Hey, how are you? I'm gonna do a little introduction. <laughs> Hello and good evening to all of our fans, the hundreds of you out there in internet land, wherever you may be. Welcome to a very special edition Welcome. of Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing. Unfortunately, our friend Mr. John, Mr. Say Nothing, will not be with us. Uh, he had Hanukkah celebrations to attend, as this is yeah. the fifth night of Hanukkah. But in his place, we are once again joined by our very dear friend, Ross and Ross, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. As, as a pleasure. Do, do you go by uh, Ross or Dino Bosco? I prefer Dino Bosco. Okay. Well, uh, Dino Bosco or Sir Dino or S just Dino? Sir Dino. Sir Dino. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna make is, a. Is really that Italian, Sir Dino? Sir Dino? Well, actually, my my Italian name is Rosario. Rosario. Hmm. That sounds um. That sounds like more uh, African to me. It was it was actually a pizza place at Park Ridge that I worked at. My name yeah. was uh, back when I, when I was a kid and owned it for a little bit. Move, you, moving on, what were you saying? Bill? No, I just had a really exciting announcement to make. Uh, if you guys are done talking about pizza. Why are you having a kid? You, do, you done, Dino? Yes. Rosario, Dino. you done? You yes. fucking done? All right. So I just heard this through the grapevine. Our friend, Sir Dino, is thinking about wearing more vests. Is that true, Ross? Yeah. Bulletproof? Well, let's talk. Well, I wanna, I wanna dig into this, Ross. What kind of vest do you want to wear? What, what, what is inspiring this great change to your wardrobe? I love to for better. All better heads, a lot of better heads talk about these uh, better vests. You know, I'm seeing them around, go to concerts. You know, feels we we wear right now. Would you wear a shirt with the vest, or just bare nipple pepperonis? I'm not picking up what you're saying. Mm. I well, this is a vest right. sewed on to sleeves. Right. Would, you, would you wear a vest with no shirt on? Uh, Underneath, you know, like you know, Aladdin, like, like at a yeah, Aladdin style. I don't have the guns like I used to. So what's there now? The boobs? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we're all human, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, go, you know, being thirty-two, I don't have the you know muscular physique like I used to. That's okay. <laughs> Neither do I. Truth be told, and. Neither do I after my 30 White Castle days. <laughs> right? I had one of them. They were great. I just want to say a very special hello to all of our fans out there in Ireland, across the pond. Yes. Uh, Phil was doing some research on our little podcast website, and apparently that's where the majority of our listeners are. Let's so do a toast. Uh, yep. Slancha. Top of that. Even Diaz. That, that yes. was perfect, Ross. That was, that, yeah, that was perfect. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Anyway... Uh, I guess let's just keep this ball rolling. Yeah. Phil. Oh, yeah. I, I was wondering, Ross, did you know the last episode, it was just you and me talking? A lot of people told me it was you and me talking, and it was because Bill was blown out of his mind. Out of my mind. magic cigarettes. Exactly right. You knew, Did you know that? I, I, I knew it was something special, but I Oh, didn't, pull the mic closer. Sure. I knew it was something special, but I didn't think of it at the time. It was something special, all right. Yeah. What did you think it was, like some cloves or uh, some super glue? I guess so. Okay. Well, I, I was wondering, because cause I was thinking about this. Do you guys think that shit, do you think weed specifically is habit-forming or addictive? Habit-forming. Yeah. Well, well, I, I, see, well, it's obvious, like, there's scientific proof for it. But, I mean, do, do you guys think that 
it's really that different. The, the drink it or smoke it a cigarette? Well, as far as affecting your life, it, 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 like habit forming or yes. addicting. I think people depend on it a lot. And, you know, it can, it can be like addiction, but but I don't think people are physically addicted. Like they can be addicted to alcohol. Or yeah. I think it's very much is more a habit forming thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think anything has the capability to become addictive. I think it all depends on the person. Yeah. Like you can rely on something. Like you can become addicted to your phone. You can become addicted to whatever convenience you have in your life. Maybe not chemically mm-hmm. uh, addicted to it, but definitely physically. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of room uh, for that. I, I think we can do that and does that to a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, I, I see a lot of people, like you were saying, physically or chemically. I th- I think mentally addictive now just means addictive because nobody gets the fuck out of their house. It's just all technology. Right. So so everybody, th- th- there's just a lot of people that I know who, uh, I'm not going to mention who, but there's just a lot of people who smoke weed. Is it Ross? No. No. No, no. no. no, I don't do that. There's just mm-hmm. where, where it's like, you know, what the fuck, man? You don't, what, what do you do past... That 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 that's your life, but you're not dependent on it. You just don't know how to get off of it. I mean, it's like video games, you know. Sure. It's I I don't know. Or television, or Netflix, or yeah. the internet, or anything. Or White Castle Burgers, or, or, or White. Oh God, I love them so much. Well, yeah. it's all about moderation. I can admit, I, I like playing a lot of video games. Yeah. But I take about. So you think eating thirty White Castle Burgers once a year in one day is okay? Yes. I don't. I think you have to eat way more, way more frequently. I love White Castle. Okay. There, that's my stance. You got to realize how much crap you put in your system, you know. Unfortunately, you know, I have, like, my like, shitload of health problems. And, you know, recently I, I've been having problems with my, you know, my blood pressure has been very high lately. So I think you should have more White Castle. That's just going to make it worse because it has a lot of salt to it. Well, you want to write a book about it, don't you? Uh, About White Castle? Yeah, about how you almost died, and because Phil told you to eat more White Castle. No, I don't. Think I, I want to be in there. I don't think I would do it. Have okay. you tried their fish nibblers? I have never had White Castle in my life. Never. Never. One of those few uh, West Up chains I've never had. So what? You think you're better than us? I don't think I'm better than anybody. Can except, I um? Except for Joe Spados. I want to bring up something because you were saying that uh, we bring up a lot of old times. Yeah. Just quick story. Do you remember? I'll t- I'll tell you what I remember, and everybody is pretty aware that I don't remember things that well. Right. Well, this is the reason why. I oh, like... should I should I pitch that joke that I had? I I didn't know if it was that well. Let's save it for later. Yeah, yeah. I well, no. So so what happened, Ross? Let me just f- finish this to the end because this is what I remember. Well, I gotta get pissed off. You you might, but th- th- this is what I remember. Um, you, well, let me ask you this. Would you say that the old Dino Bosco was quite a quite of an alcoholic? No, a binge drinker. A binge drinker. Okay. Yeah. But w- would you think that the old Dino Bosco was a Urban Dictionary Rubino where they drank too much and it was a huge pain in the ass? Uh, All right. No, no, no answer to that. There's only one answer to that, man. Yes, I was a pain. Okay. <laughs> Any, anyways, point is that I remember, and I'm not. I don't want to mention old shit with old exes because it's just fucking dumb. I think the, you should. But but <laughs> yeah. You're no. going to anyway. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> so do, do, okay, this is what I remember. I wanted to go out with Kathleen. Yes. There's this girl Kathleen. I worked at Jewel. Ross worked at Jewel. We talked about this whole episode. The, the, I couldn't get this off my mind because I think you told me half of the story and then it just sparked. Like I remember the whole fucking story. I don't think I was old enough to buy alcohol, but you were. I really wanted to fuck Kathleen. Here's my problems. Johnny, her fag hag, was criticizing the fuck out of me. He's like, you know what? This guy, this guy's, oh, this guy's too distasteful. He doesn't have class. He doesn't listen to the right bands. He's not hipster enough. He's not, he doesn't have a nice, you know, tight ass. And he, he was just criticizing the fuck out of me, calling the shots. So I'm like, what do I got to do with that? And then at the same time, uh, I didn't know, like, I just, I had no, I was like, what do I do in that situation? What, do, what would you guys do? You know, do you ask him out? You take him out to dinner? Who, Johnny? Well, either either of them, just to, just to get it, you, you know, just to get to the goal. You got to get past the defenders. So what do you do? I, I you know, I, I, I mean, what would you do, Ross? 
Pull some Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> I would uh, get to go on top of the day of this if a uh, pussy like that was such. So a if you were Harvey Weinstein and sitting there naked, and she goes, "What time is it?" You're like, "Get the fuck out of here! You're not even gonna watch this anymore." No, I don't know where I'm going with that. No, but I liked it. You're thinking, and that's important. I don't know. I don't think. If I freak, we are, if I like somebody enough, I will go for it. I don't care what. W- okay. Care what, what, anything about the friends and what they have to say. If I like the person, well, I, if it I, affects I, them, if if they got them under a fucking hypnosis, you know, little gold cross or wh- whatever the fuck they're hypnotizing them with. Well, a- any anyways, here's what happened. I'm fucking rambling. Here's what happened. Typical fail. Yep. Hear nothing as usual. Don't don't anybody ramble like me because I'll fucking sue you. Get to no. the point. Yes. I I was like, all right. I asked her if we want to party. We go to her house. Her ma's out of town. I ask Ross to buy us booze. Nice. I'm like, well, I don't even really give a fuck about getting drunk. I just kind of want to be able to ask her out, want to be able to make make out with her. I've been talking to this girl for two weeks. I can. What do I do? She goes, oh, yeah, we'll have a little party. I'll bring my buddy Johnny and my friend Grace. Nice. Luckily, the, I was I was just setting up the blueprints because Ross had a crush on Grace. So... I'm like, you know what's going to happen? To be honest with Ro- you, I didn't have a cuss. I know this you, one. Ross, there was about three songs that are on YouTube that you sang that are about Grace. So let's just Can you let's name just them? stick to that. Yeah. What? Yeah, there's there's the Roscoe song, which the metal one. Then there's the D- Dino Bosco tells stories. And then I have one that's unreleased because it was just selling too many copies. It was just fucking going. Because <laughs> no, I'm so. that golden, bo- people. Oh, you're you're staying golden. Yeah, anything I Dino do boy. Is just, is it hits a million million um, views. Well, on with the story. I I I'm like, well, what? The, so what? What do I do here? We get to her house. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do anything to just have alone time with her. You're like, well, what the fuck? I bought you guys. I I had you buy this gallon. Vo- you know those cheap vodkas, Bill? Oh yeah. Where it's like a, it's like bigger than a gallon. It's like skull or something. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Some aristocrat in your life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. What do you mean aristocrat? That's a really shitty brand of vodka. It, it's it's in a plastic bottle, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. If I if I remember correctly, I bought you guys a jewel brand. Ooh, yeah, even so it was better. Even, yeah, yeah. Heritage. It was, it, it was more like rubbing off alcohol. Yeah. Well, that's that's the best to get, right? Yeah. Especially if you're like hitting a bullet or a crack pipe at the same time in a trailer. Well, I would have known. I never done. As far as I You haven't lived. You're so repressed, Ross. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, anyways, with the st- the crack pipe stories for later. So. So now we um we're 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 at her house. You're like, "All right, I got you guys this shit." We we t- we all took shots. Nobody wanted to take more than like two shots, including me. I'm like, "Okay, I have some alone time. I can start whispering into her ears, start singing some Aladdin soundtrack sure. songs, you know." <laughs> Johnny hated you cuz you were super homophobic. So he he didn't, he was like, "I'm not going to be that that guy's a fucking animal. Fuck him." And and he don't want to be around you, so that's good for you because you got Gracie. She, but then it, but then it's good for me because Gracie's fucking terrified of you. So so then I'm like, all right, I'm finally alone. I put the bottle on a counter. All right, I'm 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 about to make out with her, and then there's Roscoe, fucking sipping the sipping the whole fucking thing and knocking shit over in her kitchen. I'm like, all right, well I gotta hide this shit because her ma's not, dude. She's fucking she's Polish. And 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 she's 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 a redneck Polish. It's called Gural. She's like a gypsy Polish. So she's gonna. Is fucking that actually a word? Gu- say it again. Gu- Gural. Yeah. It's like. It's like the whole Gogo Bordello thing. There's 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 like a high class and middle class Poland and the, and the Gural. They're like they're like more gypsy. They're like they're like they're like, where Borat is. Are they oh. the mountain people? Yeah, yeah, the mountain people. So so point is, she's gonna slit your neck if you fuck up her house. <laughs> so 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 I, I'm like you know, don't don't fuck up her shit. I hide the bottle. I go back to Kathleen. Years and I, I hear rumbling again, like there's a raccoon in the garbage. <laughs> but again, it's Roscoe finds the bottle on top of the fridge. Like Ross, you gotta chill. Don't touch shit. You're gonna get obnoxious. I told you about this shit. And you're like, no, I fucking paid for it. This is our alcohol. So I'm like, all right, man. Take a break. I'll get. I'll, I'll give it to you in an hour. Just let me fucking get some alone time. You keep f- blue balling me here. I put it in the fridge. Once again, I hear a raccoon rambling in the garbage. You get it. Fourth time, 
I fucking put it under her ma's bed. I find you under the fucking bed <laughs> drink, drinking it. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Do you know Bosco Mission Impossible? Just just finding that vodka everywhere. So you know what I did? Do you remember what I did? Uh, no, I was pretty blacked out. Yeah. Uh, well, it's good that you don't remember because we might not be friends after this episode. I got a really long straw, put it in another really long straw, and another long straw, tied your legs and arms to a chair, then I duct ta- silver taped you around there, taped the bottle in your hands, and then the straw to your face. And I was like, yo, you said you only want to get drunk and not fuck shit up. So you can be tied to this chair, get drunk, have a good time, and, and you know, even have a few hand room to jag off to me and Kathleen making out, you know? Anyways, point Wait, is- Wait, it was in the same room? I don't, I don't. I think it was in the living room because I put him right in the middle of a room where he won't be able to like tip over like a you know hostage is trying to escape. Sure. And mess something up. So I, so and then the next morning everyone's passed out and his fucking ma shows up to like some Silence of the Lambs shit because it's just you, like with this vodka bottle tied and you tied to a chair. <laughs> Do you, you know like? It's just, it's just like you got it. <laughs> what? No. You, you don't remember this? <laughs> what? What? Say it. Cut. cut. What, what? Just cut it, please. Cut what? Why? She was like, I can't. <laughs> this is such bullshit. <laughs> what? What? So what? Do you remember it? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Do you remember waking up tied to a chair? <laughs> uh, you just didn't want me to say this. Is that, is that what it is? No, it's just completely, utterly ridiculous that you're fucking um, uh, bringing up all old uh, logic like this. <laughs> it's just well, well, no, it's a funny story, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. So well, you, I had to mention that. So you do remember. Yeah. All right, man. I'm sorry. Man, I'm this sorry. is nice. No, this yeah. is good. This, this is, is good because, you know, all these stories that I, uh, as a better person, I keep... My stories, what I have about filled up my have you Have you ever been tied to a chair like a victim, Bill? No. No, I can't say that I have. But it sounds great. If you want to get to that to Johnny, he was always like, yeah, this little, you know, Phil is such a cunt bitch. Dude, he is an. He had a lot of great taste. He was a good artist. He was, but it, but but he he was uh he talks shit about everyone. Well, let me let me put this table. And you know what? Here's the people tell me that I talk shit. When you tell when you there's positive advice because, like I said, I'm I'm raised with an interior designer and a fucking musician, so I I, I like who's a musician. I, I I'm I I'm saying I'm a musician oh. and I was raised with an interior designer, so I have a lot of picky bitch taste, which is good. And sometimes I can be blunt because I don't like to sugarcoat. I don't like to be that guy. Oh, you know what? Your band's awesome because I'm your friend. No, if you're my friend and your band sucks, your band fucking sucks. Well, this like, is why I love going to shows with you because you always uh, so like thought about it. You you, you know you you don't go so much. Further, you know the headliner is like you're supposed to like them. Yeah. And you said you know again when we went to Mayhem, I thought it was a good show because I thought it was all like dark and novelous. And you said Twitter about said what you did like a Mayhem, and they just sound like shit. Which, yeah. Which I did don't. don't Disagree, but that's just why I. You gotta pull it, Mike, closer. This is why I uh, go, go, go to shows. Just pull it. Go to shows with you because it's like a penis getting closer, man. Yo, oh, you know you're making me look like a jackass. <laughs> anyway, did you wind up making out with Kathleen? Was it a magical, romantic evening? I, I mean, I guess S- sponsored by Jewel Brand Vodka. Yeah, yeah, sponsored by Jewel Brand Vodka. Nice. And Grace had a good time. Johnny had a good time. Everyone. Yeah, had I don't. Fun. I don't even know what you did to Grace. She might have been in the other room, tied up with Johnny. Ooh. I don't even know what you did to Johnny, man. This is getting ridiculous. Was there a straw going from his butthole to the vodka? <laughs> what? I mean, dude, it's you save money getting drunk that way. You ever do that before? No. No? Not even as Dino you know, Bosco. You're blacked out, man. Now, how do you know that I didn't put that straw tied to your butthole? Because my butthole is tight as hell. I don't think you can fit it up there. That's a straw? I- a McDonald's straw, man. Those are pretty fucking, like, you know, flexible. Did you when you got X-rayed? Did they find a Happy Meal in your like rectum? No, and I and I had uh, you know, like, like those toys. I did have the test of cancer, so I, I was checking that area. So I'm pretty sure you know Wait, your butthole. Yes, they check that for two for prostate okay. cancer. Okay. So how know, did that feel? Oh, oh, God, 
How well, it's you? it's supposed to feel good in men. No, it, it was terrifying. How would you feel if a two fit girl guy stick up something in your asshole and you're not and, and you're not into well, it? And that's what hear nothing is for. Hear nothing, see nothing, say We're gonna do it right now. Yeah, that's okay. exactly right. Who who is gonna bend over? It's not gonna be me. I had enough. Are you gonna be the poker? <laughs> Hey, we're talking about bonding here. What, what, we Why is it always on me? Why can't we? we... I don't know, Bill. Are you going to be the poker? I'd be honored. Okay. All right. I don't want to touch anybody's ass. <laughs> no, no. I'll do the touching. Don't worry. No, you don't want to go into my ass. There's too many things up there. All right. Elaborate. Too many, there's too many things up there. Like... There's been too many things up there. Okay. What? But you just said you don't like getting shit in your asshole. It, it doesn't mean people. Oh, I don't want to. Let's just go, go on. I hear the prostate is very, very sensitive and that stimulating it is very pleasurable. If you do it right. And you're saying no one's done it right yet. No. Well, maybe you just haven't found the right guy. No, it wasn't a guy. It was a girl. Regardless. Yeah. Men do it better. What if it was a shemale? Would it make things better? Dude, I'm stoked. Yeah, but, well, I don't know. I just, I don't even know why I asked, but. Yeah. It was, it was a, that was a hell of a night, you know? Yeah. When I mean, you got your prostate tested. No. When I always, once again, we we had so many following hours, man, that one night. Oh, know, yeah. It was like, I, I think every night that we hang out, we have a falling out. No, I That's just last, the way. I think last time, last time was pretty good. Oh, what? oh okay. Yeah. Well. It, that was one of our good moments. Yeah. So, what so are we, what's everybody doing for, for Christmas? What's everybody, yeah. Mm, well, my family always gets together on Christmas Eve, and we do a white elephant. And is that the same thing as uh, like secret secrets? I know, like, oh, but with alcohol, right? Uh, no, it's like everyone just brings a gift. It doesn't have any names on it. And then you pick one, or you can steal a gift, and you oh. go around, and it takes five fucking hours. And it's uh, I don't know, holiday cheer, magic, all that. In my work, they said it's white elephant because because it's strictly alcohol. I don't know why. Oh, really? Yeah. That sounds way better than my office's white elephant. Where they they explicitly said no alcohol. And it's like, oh, shit. Now I got to find something else because I was just going to buy a bottle, put it in a bag. The end. You go by cousins? That's what we do with my family. There's all, there's all the cousins uh you know, at my aunt, Ma, Anthony Patty's, we just uh, all give little gifts to the cousins. Oh, that's wait for white elephant or just we, in we, general? It's just a, like a grab. Go- okay. Oh, Secret Santa. It's so, business, like, you business. get a name and then you have to get them gifts. Yes. Okay. Uh, I do Godfather, Godmother, and then just immediate family, is what we do for, like, oh, gifts. Just, well, um, well, unfortunately, I have to work this year again on Christmas. So, but usually, what my family usually do on Christmas Eve. I go to my dad's. We do open gifts. Your real dad, not my, the stuff that. My real dad. We go, yeah. We go, to, we go to my dad's. We open gifts. We hang out. We had breakfast. Is he the dentist or the floor? The dentist. Okay. And then we go to my aunt Patty's, um, who is my godmother, and on the, we like eat and we drink and then we open presents and then we drink some more. Is she cute? She's sixty years old, cut small and. Very, very uh, mother- motherly. Uh, so yes, that's what I'm looking for. Those gilfs. You stay away from my go- my godmother. I'll beat your crap out of you, boy. Well, then I'll go to the Rubino dentist to get everything filled in. Mm. I already got like three fake teeth. You are looking for a dentist? My dad will hook you up. You have good. Nah, man, I'm good. All right. <laughs> He'll give you those gold teeth. The oh, grills? Yeah, for two thousand a tooth. Is it two thousand a tooth? I think I doesn't. Oh well, well, no, insurance doesn't cover it because it's like cosmetic. Well, he's pretty stingy. So if you, anybody out there want to see my dad, he's a, he's a, he's a great dentist. But man, is he expensive? Yeah, my my mom wouldn't. My fucking mom got pissed off because uh, she uh she she keeps a lot of shit from my childhood. Yeah. Like I don't know why she just kept you, I all think my. You told me about you. Yeah. Is it she kept booties or something. No, she kept all my uh, baby teeth. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think she was gonna make like a bracelet out of it. And um, so she finally gave them to me when I moved out. But she didn't want to give me. I had a communion chain, and I told her I wanted to like melt it down to have like one gold tooth. And she got really pissed, and and I never got it yet. So, I mean, I don't know. What what would you guys do with a fucking chain that's like as thin as a, a th- you know a loose thread? I wanted to keep keep my testicle that, but that didn't happen. It, it's called <laughs> it's called 
It's called um, health. Speaking of gold teeth, yeah. Yeah, right, right, yeah, just to keep it on topic. Which was, you know, the doctor took my Tesco. He out, wanted right? that Fabergé c- cancerous test, you know. Yeah, it was like, I don't know, honestly. No, but did you, on, did you, I'm not, no joke, s- joke set aside. Did you actually ask him that you want your test, like, did they, no, did you ask him? No. I asked I, for I my wisdom teeth. Him. Yeah. Yeah. And they wouldn't give me my wisdom teeth. And I was pissed. I was like, yeah. they're mine. They put to be honest with you, I was not supposed to have it taken out it it was a kind of the thing that it was a executive decision because it was looking all funky so they, they the doctor made his own decision yeah so, so um it had to go so, I would have asked. so if, I, if i had my choice i would have asked this to be a to be a funny like that because one of the you know my favorite comedians that i feel and i saw tom tom Gree, you know yeah we the, talked about this yeah and i, I just like, i you, you know i gotta tell you though you I could see why you wouldn't want to tell him because you got to be really careful around doctors. You can't even every little fucking thing they'll take down record, yeah. so they can have an excuse later on if you have a fuck up with your condition. Yeah, well you they know, did it, fuck up. They didn't even know I had cancer. They thought it was inflamed, so they kind of did until they. Well, well, when I came for my MRI, it started snowing, mm-hmm. and they're they're like, "Do you feel sadder or a little bit less uplifting than the other day?" I'm like, "It's cold, and it's the first day it's fucking snowing." Yeah, does that make me? suicidal today you know because because they'll look at they'll recommend psychiatrists and shit really my you know what was bullshit is i maybe i should have mentioned this but i had a doctor in cleveland that i went to one time in high school you told me about this i do yeah. yeah and she re-prescribed my like the, with epilepsy if the medication's working they don't have to and you're not getting seizures they don't have to test you and they don't like as long as they hear about you doing well they're just going to keep re renewing your prescription she kept renewing my prescription for like a fucking decade now i go to this new frugal money grubbing fuck in chicago who is a recommendation by the one in cleveland and she's like no you got to come here once a year you got to come here once a year you like this person i i like her but i mean i don't want to have the thing in the back you know know, that's what people don't understand i i don't like to personalize things because i don't like to be like oh me 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 but you know, it fucking sucks. Every single thing you do, you change your job, you change your career, revolves around your disability because it's like, well, what happens if I run out of pills? I'll just keep having electric charges in my brain that cause a seizure. I may end up, I'll wake up either retarded, paralyzed, or dead. Keep with the hardwood. What, retarded? Yeah. That's 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 me- that's that's not a, that's, that's a real fucking word. What? You're not retarded. No, but I think it's still meant to be challenged. I'll wake up a vegetable. Thank Is that wrong? Yes. But like, it, yeah, it's like something things you shouldn't want to say. It's like you don't want to be called a, a Polak, right? To someone who isn't Polish. I, I well, you don't I'm apparently I'm a Hawaiian shirt wearing one that looks like a nun. So you don't. Care so that's what, what the world knows me yeah. as. Well, that makes you awesome. The, the, you just answer your own question. I love being called that, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't. You know. get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, it yeah. It could be offensive. Yeah, but if you're not retarded, then why would you be like offended by that? Because many years people thought I was, so I, I got sensitive to the word. Well, if, m- many years. Well, a lot of people at my um, I'm not. No, I'm not going to get into race because a lot of people think I'm Jewish. So people start calling me like Rabbi Philip. I think it'd be kind of awesome. It'd be kind of pimp. Uh, I don't know. I got a friend who's on the spectrum. He's got um, Aspergers, and he takes really like big offense. To people using that word, and so just for his what, sake. Well, what's uh? Do you have to say mentally retarded then? I don't know. What's the, I don't. People what's are, what's, what's the autism, proper way? People with autism not retarded. Well, not everybody who is mentally retarded has autism though. Yeah, it it, it just depends on the on the diagnosis. Well, I think, I think the big complaint is people just call each other retards. Yeah, and that's that's a label like of a being slur. Stupid. Yeah, yeah, and it's. I think you can be mentally retarded. But, like, using retard as Can an I insult. seem, I, I don't want to end up medically retarded? Yes. Am I being a retard by saying the word retard? No. Well, it's funny you say that because I work with a lot of people with asperism. The famous Joe Spanos is, at, you know, asperism. And, yeah. um, I, and two other people. And, you know, the, you know, even asperism is a very, uh, you know, has a... Uh, asperism. Shut up. Has a very wise, you know, yeah. just, um... So it, it depends on that individual. 
Yeah. Some people, people, you know, might act, act like a child, like Joe Spanos, and they think everybody's their buddy. And some of them are just, you know, don't have very good social skills, like my buddy Sean, who I work with. He so, has he has Asperger's. Yeah, but he just doesn't know how to, you know, you know, um, socialize with people very well. He he, he doesn't pick up people's signal, facial signals when they're upset or mad or depressed to, to them. He's yeah. One big um. One big facial expression. If you know what I'm trying to say, uh, Bill. Sure. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't care about people's facial expressions. So well, you can tell the difference. Uh, oh, sorry. No, <laughs> but I, I don't know. You're the one being offensive right now, Ross. Yeah. That, that's what this all came down to. That's what it all comes out. Every time we have a falling out, you know. Yeah, because I'm, I'm my asshole. No, but um, speaking of fucked up modern times, so. You guys want to know something real fucked up? I sure do. Um, Gavin, my kid, he came home the other day, mm-hmm. uh, and he was in school. Oh, we were eating dinner, and I—I I think I told you guys that. Well, it, it doesn't really matter to the story, but I'm trying to get rid of all this shit in our house that is about to expire. So I give him some green cuts. This is what it says on the can. And they got the green beans inside. He's like, Phil, is it, uh, is it okay to eat seeds? Is it okay? I'm like, B- Gavin, I was just really fucking tired. I'm like, Gavin, you can eat any seeds, any beans in the world, and you'll be fucking fine. Don't worry about it. Leave me alone. He's like, well, well, I heard, I read, and I saw on YouTube, and I, I, heard, I read a thousand facts, and wah-wah, that, that if you eat a jewel bag worth of apple seeds, that you can get poisoned. I'm like, Gavin, if you go to school... And there's a kid like, oh, I got PB and J, I got pizza, and you go, I got a bag, a jewel bag of apple seeds. Don't be surprised if you get beat up. Okay, you don't. Who the fuck eats a jewel bag of apple seeds? It's not gonna happen. And I, do I don't mean, even know the fact. When we apple, like the ones you're putting them out, spit out. Apple, no, he's saying he's saying he's saying that if you eat enough apple fucking seeds, that you that you'll get. Poison. I don't even know if that's true, but who the hell is going to do that? When I was growing up, when I was his age, when, if you eat a seed, it would grow, grow. That was a stupid thing when I was a kid. It was a myth, yes. though. And that's yeah. what you're trying to say is a myth, too? Yeah, it's a myth. And then and then he goes, oh, yeah, well, anyways, I'm right, boy. And that's when my white rage <laughs> exploded. <laughs> no, I'm like, because I, I don't know. I get, and I'm he like, said, what? yo, I'm white. Boy, yeah, he said, face? right, yeah, I'm right, boy. Why are you like, just, why are you just I'm, getting a spanking? A spanking because we get kinky later on that night. I'm talking no. about G- Gavin, so is he, yeah. What, wait, you, you're telling me he should have given me a spanking no, while he's no, saying, you should have given him a spanking, oh, okay, for being just disrespectful yeah. like that, yeah. No, well, no, I told him, like, don't say it. I, I, I was told, I, I spoke with a person who. who at my work, who's black, and he's like, he's like, you know, I'm like, I wanted, I, and I was being honest, I'm like, dude, is that like an offensive thing to say? He's like, well, yeah, it depends who says it to who, because that's what slave owners used to say. So it's pretty much the same thing as saying the n word. Um, and I was confused because I used to think that's something that when you say son, he's like, no, a son doesn't matter. That's just being an old fuck, you know. Like, like, oh, well, let me tell you this, son. Mm-hmm. It's like that. That's okay, but saying boy isn't. And I had to, ex- and and he's like, well, what do I say? It's a trendy thing to say now. And I'm like, I don't know, call him girl, you know? like the guy from Mount Pumpet, Emily. What's his face? Yeah, boy. Yeah, what's his name? Flavor Flav. Is that, is, is that kind of like how he said it? Yeah. No. I don't, I don't, I don't think he's saying it because... Uh, That's the only way I could think how, how that thing got in a, a trend, saying boy. I don't well, are you going to get offended going into a boy's room now? What the fuck does that sign say? Boy's room. Yep. So I, I, anybody who can comment like me... I bet you anybody who's watching this cannot guess where I'm from from my accent. Mars. Close enough. Ooh. Ooh. Sometimes I feel like I'm in outer space. Jersey. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. I always people think I'm from Jersey. I don't know. I don't. It, it's like I'm, I talk with my hands. I'm Italian, you know. No, I'm just fucking around. Well, if you talked with your hands, wouldn't you be deaf? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I no, honestly, like, I don't know if it's Jersey, cause, 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 didn't, didn't Andy used to talk kind of like Ross? <laughs> I don't. Um, and he, and he's, uh, he's from a trailer park in Des Plaines. 
Well, Andy. Ross, where are you from? Park Ridge, Illinois. Is it a trailer park? Absolutely not. It's upper middle upper class. I don't wouldn't call it upper class because be, people from Parker's Whistle was upper class. It's completely upper class. I Hear disagree. Me? There was a lot of people with average income there. If if, if you go in the right area, south of the tracks. <laughs> So have you been shot by, like, say, a slingshot or drive-by? Have you? No, not uh, well. In Park Ridge, I mean, what, if you go south of the tracks. I grew up in south of the t- tracks. That's where my father lived. What is South Side Chicago? Oh, I thought you meant Park Ridge. No, Park Ridge is all upper class, dude. You grew up in the Park Ridge. No, I didn't. I grew up in Chicago. You- I moved. I moved to Park Ridge in like high school. Oh, okay. Anyhow, yeah. So, are you gonna call me boy? No. So you hit Gavin. Me. You disciplined so I, him. Yep. You made out with Kathleen that one night. Yep. Everything is great. Yep. And Actually, I got, and I got tied up like a little bitch, like I, I am, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Your words, well, not ours. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. No, but uh, you. you 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 know it was a really terrifying memory that I had. It, it reminded me when I was a kid, I went to preschool, and I remember I couldn't speak in Chicago. I couldn't speak English. I keep on forgetting. And were you born in the U.S.? Yeah, I was born so, in Chicago. Well, how come you didn't know English? Because nobody in my family knew English. Yeah. Actually, I think John taught me English a little we, bit. We were talking about this last time. Yeah. Yeah. So he uh yeah say nothing taught me some English. By saying nothing, who the fuck would have thought that? That's why. That's why I'm so bad at English. No, but he, uh, yeah, he, I was going to this uh, preschool, and I it sucked. I would fucking cry every day. You know, there was sleep time. I would just, I was like laying there waiting to um for the day to end, just to get out of there because I couldn't like talk to anybody. And oh my, I became friends with another kid who couldn't speak. But it was because he was shy as fuck. This kid, Giancarlo. How we awkward. We already talked about this. Did I tell you about what yeah. is it about then? Uh, last time I remember it was some, something you found in the forest. No, it's okay. not about the woods. This is a different person. Okay. This kid, I'm in Chicago. So I'm laying awake in nap time. He's, I, I hear some, the kid, the, the, the they put on some cheesy record on the record player. For some reason they had vinyl players in, in kindergarten. They put some cheesy nursery rhyme song for us to all, you know, go to sleep like in Michael Jackson's Neverland. And they walk out of the room, and he's too shy to walk out of the room and ask for the bathroom. So I I look up, and there's Giancarlo doing a fucking, pulling out his five-year-old butthole, shitting on top of the finger painting table. And and I just look at him, and he's just he just goes like this. He sh- shakes his head, like no. Don't tell him I'm shitting on the finger pain, and and I'm like, okay, I don't. Even even at that age, I'm like, fuck. I wish I could speak English because this is fucked up right here. And the craziest thing is, have you ever heard that name before, Giancarlo? Not me. I've never heard that before. First day. I heard James Anthony before. That's well, so similar. Yeah, yeah, right. I get a little bit, but hey, Phil? I, well, I, I moved to Park Ridge. Mm-hmm. First day in fucking Maine South, I hear somebody, yeah, I'll see you later, Giancarlo. And I see that same awkward look. He looks over, and I'm like, holy fuck. Do you, uh, can you imagine that? Like 15 years apart. He shakes his I, head again. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell him about my five-year-old butthole, you know. Can you do me a favor? Do you a favor? Yeah, I got so much more cigars in there. Can you go get them? Oh, for me, yeah. yeah for, Absolutely. For, me, for both of us. Didn't you owe me from last time? I gave you one last time. I don't remember this. I, get, it's I blacked vi- out. It's in the video. <laughs> All right. So while Phil is grabbing, Phil asked you a question, Ross. Uh, you got it? You good? I don't remember the question. What pocket? He got them. Okay. Cool. Good. You want one, Phil? May I have one, Ross, please? <laughs> I'll let you put your finger in my butthole. Yeah, go I'm ahead. You, you got to deal with open... No, here. Oh, really? You sure it's okay? No, I have enough. Which one, which one do you want? I, 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 you can have one. I'll take this one. Can I have this one? No, that's for me. Okay, so blueberry. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I got that blueberry yum yum. 
Actually, I'm fucking up right now because I was supposed to have my last cigar last week. That's supposed to. Have... Why did you say anything? We were just over there. Well, just over where? By the no, sh- it was supposed to be my last one. As in, I don't want to smoke anymore. No, I should quit too. So we quit together. So, does anybody have any um? Bill, I mean, what's new with you, man? How's it been since you couldn't talk from being high? <laughs> All right, well, I've got a lot to say now. So. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Is that your phone? Sorry, man, I didn't sound. God, phone. amateurs. Oh, Ross, if you're going to smoke, keep it on the table. Phil, turn your phone on silent. Well, Prima I, donnas. I, I, I'd organize it. Uh, oh, my God. We're, it's so. it's and it's it's because say nothing is in here. Fuck you, John. Yeah, I thanks for I made it out here. What's your excuse? I miss him so does much. He, does he all live farther than I do? He lives so much further. He lives like on the border of Wisconsin. Really? Oh, yeah. I, I, I a little going. sympathy, Ross. Yeah. A little he crossbows out there. He's got a like a large bullseye with your face on it. <laughs> we'll actually, actually, it's your butt, and then the arrow is like a finger at the tip. Yeah, that's the right way to stimulate a prostate. Oh, we'll go out there and we'll pour water bottles of gasoline on fires. And Oh, yeah, yeah. Bill, be... you should tell us about that. Oh, my God. Um, I don't know. We drove out to Say Nothing's house. I drank a lot. He had been making limoncello. I drank a bunch of that. We wanted to do a bonfire, but it had just rained recently. So we went to a gas station, filled up a gas can. And no, no, no. We, we, uh, that didn't interrupt you again? He, he, there he, was one more window. Nobody gives a fuck about your cigars, Ross. Well, I want to finish All right? it before I leave. All right. Well, you'll finish. God damn it! You'll finish it in the Uber when I sent you home. God Not damn, to interrupt you, but I'm going to interrupt you. Yeah. What so, the hell? so yeah. Well, yeah. I was gonna say his his house is uh the size of like my bathroom. Well, no, no, it's 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 bigger, but I'm saying it's a small house with a huge field, because it's out in um. On the Illinois Wisconsin border, so it's like all it, it's all cornfields. Watch Field of Dreams or Children of Corn. That's how it looks out there. It's beautiful. Like, there's no there's no rats that are the size of a cat or trash like in Chicago. You know, I've never seen a rat in Chicago. You don't. I got a rat right here. <laughs> you prick. You don't spend enough time in Chicago, Ross. What, what part of Chicago has rats? Fucking every part of Chicago. Every, I'm not. I am not making this up. Every morning, I step on a rat where I work by the factories. Yeah, there's dead rats all over the place. If you, God forbid, you should have to take the trash out. Yeah, like, I I had a rat bite me in the ankle when I was taking a piss in an alley. Why would you take a piss in an alley? Why? Because where else are you gonna go? I, I, <laughs> the, it, it, it was night. There was no children to do like, it in like front. I did it in the middle of uh, the elk. In the middle of the yeah, <laughs> I mean you you're gonna do it in the middle of the L train, but that have. that's got surveillance, man. I'm surprised I didn't get. I, I'm not into that. I'm, I'm surprised I didn't get arrested that night. I mean, it's better than pissing yourself on the L. I've seen that on the L numerous times. It's just well, well, John's house. So so he's got a huge field in his yard. He crossbows out there. He actually has a pilot. Well, John, Uncle John, uh, see no, or say say nothing. He's got a pilot license out there because there's nothing to do out there. He uh, what? Bu- uh, he he parachutes. He actually parachuted himself quite a few times. It's fucking crazy. So he's it, a vets. He's he he's a kind of a vets kind of th- what's it called? Uh, high fields things. Yeah, he he officially can drive a plane by himself, like the ones that you spray uh fields with, and he can uh he can parachute. He's a ju- 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 skydiver. A, a general junkie kind of right. Yeah, he's a general junkie. Yeah. It, it, he likes hot, hot oh, adrenaline, yeah. yeah. So, so the fire. Yeah, the fire. He's got a pile of sticks in his yard because he's got to clean them up. They're the size of, like, what, a sedan? It was, it was a huge pile. It was big. Yeah. And I remember that we had a shitload of beer bottles because we didn't have a, a legal container to put the gasoline in. So we put them. We filled up a bunch of bottles with gasoline. Was, that, that was it at the gas station? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I had to, uh, I had to balance them in the seat. Because <laughs> like, because uh, I remember we, I haven't I hadn't seen see nothing in a, in a while or say nothing in a while. So I was like, you know, we're coming out here to have a fire, and it's oh, it's moist when we get there. I'm like we're fucking setting this thing on fire. And he's like, oh, I don't want gasoline. I'm like, well, f- we're fucking having a fire tonight. We're doing whatever we can. 
I kind of have a story about gasoline. After we're done, okay. you fucking interrupting cunt. What the hell is this shit? Whoa. <laughs> Ross. What the hell? Man? You, you know, Ireland's watching us right now, okay? Oh, yeah. You're yeah. going to fuck... They don't like interrupters, okay? Not at all. You little make me cry. Don't cry. Whatever you do, you better you better do it and apologize. I'm sorry, my lads. What the hell is that shit? <laughs> that's like that's lads is like what boy is in English. Okay. No, no. Any yeah, lads. That's the flavor flav. Okay. No, anyways. So we got a bunch of fucking bottles full of gasoline. What the, I don't even know what's going on. But no, you're fucking running to the fire, like pouring them on. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I, just every time you did it, it would go, <laughs> you know, like whatever noise fire makes, but it would just light up. And by the grace of God, Phil did not catch himself on fire. Yeah. And we, we had. Well, well I, I threw like 10 matches in there and it didn't go up. And then and then I remember the last one I go this fucking cock sucking piece of shit motherfucker I'm I'm sw- I'm like just ranting like Joe Pesci in Home Alone and then <laughs> you know like and I, I, all I hear all I hear is me you motherfuckers in my last match bro <laughs> and then Bill laughing in the background <laughs> because because <laughs> even Bill being five feet behind me was too close and I got it right in front of my face. I'm not kidding. My my bill my my beard was trimmed normally by the fire. Oh. And that was the best time I ever <laughs> trimmed it, honestly. How long ago was was this? Two, three years now? Yeah, yeah. It sounds like a hell out of time. It uh it was nice. Yeah, it was. You could do whatever the fuck you want out there. Yeah. I would love to go there if John will let me. That seems like if I think go- I think Gavin almost uh crossbowed a possum out there. Because cause we kind of had adult talks. So we're like, yeah, you go do kids stuff, like shoot some opossums with a crossbow. Well, well, good. So did you hit him after he called you boy? No, no. I I was like, I, uh, I, I explained to him. Well, I asked him. I'm like, you know why he's saying it? He's like, oh, well, because it's trendy. Who told you this? He's like, oh, uh, Kihil said it. I'm like, who's Kihil? He's like, Oh, he's this um, Indian guy who wears a lot of Adidas. I'm like, well, you need to tell him that that is not the type of language we use here. And Kihil, can you be my best boy? I don't. I don't know. I. I well, well, what? Do, I, how do you handle a situation like that? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a father, but I'll tell him don't go out with the don't go out out with the crowd. I'm trying to bring back cool cats. What's up, you cool cats? That's you know my coworkers and I are trying to bring back sucker. Yeah, yeah. So we're just yeah. referring to everyone as a sucker, and if you don't use the word sucker, you are in fact a sucker. I'm also trying to bring back crikey. Oh, crikey's good. Instead of criminy or um sh- wait, shit. Wait, crikey or crikey? Crikey, yeah. Perfect. Why don't we bother about these? You what? Why don't we bother about these? It's trendy, Ross. What the I hell's wrong with you? Uh, Crikey! I'm wearing What's a, wrong with I'm you? Wearing a Slipknot hat and a diabetes shirt. Do I look like I'm trendy? A little, but soon you'll be wearing a vest. And dying then... fetus is huge enough to be in a, a wedding party jukebox. Are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> do the wedding. There was no gorillas there, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> no. But 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 it was. I I, I put on dying fetus during uh, Kelly's uh, dad's retirement party. Well, he did it with any machine? Uh, no, it, it was just the family, so we we couldn't really do that much moshing at a table. <laughs> but I put that in converge on in between with um, all by myself. <laughs> I think that was a good retirement song. <laughs> that, <you know>. Oh yeah, <laughs> that nice uplifting. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Ross, you have a lot to say. What's on your mind? Well, talking about gasoline. When I was a little kid. Uh, I had a uh, my sub uh my sub cousin uh and I was uh for, you know being a little you know messing around. You know, Is we, she cute? We, it was a boy. Is he cute? Suck on that mic, damn it! And uh, we went to what his neighbor house, and we th- we thought he was uh he, we had a squirt gun, and we just pulled close, man. We we had a squirt gun. No, no, here like this. Yeah, like that. We had a squirt gun, 
What are those? Uh, what is the what, what, like the school, the super soak one yeah. hundred? Sure. Back in the nineties. Oh Did yeah. You fill it with Tabasco. No, what we finished what I have to say. Instead of putting water in. Well, not th- to interrupt you, but I'm going to interrupt you. Okay, go ahead. I do it all the time. I forgot what I was going to say. Well, now I have something to say. Well, anyhow. Wait. This neighbor, his neighbor, instead of putting water in. He Are you going to let me talk, Ross? He, he was being a dipshit, and he and he uh, put, put, uh, filled up with gasoline. Yeah. We didn't know it was gasoline, so he, he Aaron, my, uh, my, uh, my step cousin. The was cute one. Was going uh, to be with, with um with gasoline, we did uh, smell it. So I, I, I took the gun for him and I squirted it in his, in his eyes. <laughs> Good. You and squirted it in his eyes? Yeah, literally. Were his eyes on fire? It was burning quite a bit. His eyes were burning. Like you got base. Like eyes. you got base? Oh, please stop making fun of me. I'm not. Do, no, I don't know what you're talking. Like you got base? Maced, like pepper oh, spray. Maced. Yes, it was. He was burning. So I thought you meant like Skrillex or something. Oh fuck that asshole! Whoa. Oh. You got what does eyes on fire have to do with you? Oh, you got ever pissed? had gasoline in your eyes? I uh, no, I don't think so. But I, burns, I don't remember. It, so. it burns. So I don't plan on to. So. Can I finish my story? Well, you just asked me a question. If I ever had it in my ass, it burns. It, 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 his old eyes are red. You were yeah. talking, to, and um, so we went back to the house, and you know, um, it, it hit my my uncle's ex wife. Yeah. Um, so saw what was going on. And was it, this like yesterday? This was twenty years ago. Okay, and then Caffrey went to this, his neighbor's house and banged out the out the door, and, and, and the Caffrey punched the, uh, this kid's mouth right in the face. He's like, "What the fuck are you doing? Why are you not watching these kids?" Because okay. we were covered with gasoline. Yeah. So what? what how would you handle it if, if if Gavin came home smelling like gasoline? You know, uh, gasoline in his eyes. Be like, "That's like my boy. That. That's my boy." <laughs> <laughs> See, that's appropriate for you to say that because you know, you're his senior. Yeah, and he is your boy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so she. Do you think in 2017 I should be like, "That's my boy, boy, boy"? Yeah. No, I well, was. I would think that that's got to be a, a house health thing. So it's like a health thing. Yeah. What what, what somebody drinks it, it dies. Drinks it and dies. Yeah, you, you die. I mean, I mean, kids play with every fucking thing. That's that's what I I don't know about you guys. I don't I don't mean to sound like that condescending. Yo, I'm from the city. Every every motherfucker said that. But growing up in Chicago, there's a lot of fucking shit that we did that you're not supposed to do as a kid. Unfortunately, I guess I'm not exposed to that life. So. You know, you know what me and John did. What? The scariest thing. This was the only thing that ever scared me. That ever scared me. He wanted to crawl through a tunnel, and it wasn't like it. You know in it how the sewer is the size of like, you know, it's like a Ninja Turtle sewer where it's like the size of your height. Yeah. This was a sewer where you have to crawl where it's like about two to three feet high. We crawled through there for two fucking miles. Pitch dark. We ended up in a different, we went, we went from like Arlington Heights to I think like Mount Prospect. How long did it take you, you bubble? Like an, I don't know, an hour or two. It's, I mean, it's like a walk, cause you're, but you're crawling. And it, and there's shit in there, but I don't know. He, he thought it was like a cool thing to do. That, that, scared that is, you know, shit and everything else that goes in a sewer. That that is pretty fucking badass. No, it's bad. You know how claustrophobic you are when you're in the middle of the next exit is a mile away. There's not a lot of air down there, and you're above like five feet of dirt. And how did it smell? I don't. I don't think I remember the smell because I was so terrified. And so what, when it was time to turn around, could you turn around, or was it just like, all right, let's crawl backwards now? You you could turn around. It was incredibly uncomfortable. You know when you bend your knees so far where you get like a cramp? Mm-hmm. That was, uh, that, that's kind of the situation you were in. But it was, it was pretty scary. Another situation that I did, this was crazy, and everybody, <laughs> there's three other people that did this. This, did, this was crazy, and let, let me let, like how you said, oh, would you be mad if Gavin played with gasoline? You know what I did? But this is just, this is, hear nothing. This is Philip, you know, Mr. Philip. I I told you I got into black metal when I was in sixth grade. Was I still love? Was was I still loved? Was I still love? You acted like like liking black metal is a bad thing. I'm acting, what do you, what do you mean? Well, like you was like, oh, I like something w- 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 like back in sixth grade, right? Yeah. So I don't like it now. So you like, I outgrow it. 
Well, no, no. I I learn about it at an age that you're you really shouldn't be exposed to something like that. I'm giving you shit. I give what, what you're saying. That was a good one, Ross. <laughs> I'm doing no. trying my best. No, but no, but but so, so I yeah. So I got into it at a uh, age that I should. Anyways, I was like, oh man, I want to just keep burning shit. I actually t- tried twice. I wanted to burn the churches that I was altar serving, but I'm like, oh wait a minute. What I am so glad that I didn't do that shit because I didn't realize that Europe keeps its tradition so all the churches are just wooden and remastered and rebuilt you know over wood really every every everything in yeah it's all it's so all everything what happened why, why do you think in italy all the paintings are like beautifully restored because it's all the old antique way every, yeah. everything in everything in america is stone or just just fucking demolished by a wrecking ball and rebuilt into some new modern way it looks like a I don't know, modern building in Clockwork Orange or something. But that, uh, so I'm, I'm so glad that I didn't attempt because I'd probably burn a hole in the floor and get in trouble for that shit. But, anyways, I started, the, I wanted to start a gang. So I started this thing called the Assassins. Our symbol was the anarchy sign nice. and, the, and then SS. So it just spells ass. <laughs> and, we, and we just tag ass with the anarchy symbol and the, the, the SS everywhere. We we had no political belief. But we we're just like, oh, sure. people are afraid of this shit. So so then I I invited three other of my friends. I'm like, it would be so cool. We had we had woods in front of my house, and the thing is, in front of my house, it was surrounded by <coughs> four main streets. So there was a small part of the woods, and then there was five other big woods that were surrounded by a private golf course. That that was one of the woods where we did the whole. Uh, where we tweaked the shit out of my friend, with the where I was telling the I hate God singer about the the yeah. satanic ritual there, <laughs> but the we went to the small woods is just where you went to 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 chill because it was really small like like all the kids went there so I'm like fuck this would be a great place because it won't get out of control guess what burnt the whole fucking woods down it was it was a block by a block square we just I'm like oh man we gotta set our ass ass in you know word around town. So I I lit the woods on fire. They're right in front of my house. Ten, they're they're they were ten feet in vision of my house, about forty feet away from my house. All the fucking woods burnt down. It was and it was so small in such an awkward spot. They had to drive a fire engine in there in the woods to put it out. And and, and I never like everybody. It it was so funny because it was like seventh or eighth grade. You know yearbook. It's the signatures. Everybody's like yeah. Don't go in the woods with Phil. Have a, have a nice <laughs> life. <laughs> well, I I wish I didn't have any of these exposures when I was a kid. You 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 really boys a, will be boys. Well, I did, but my things Rubinos were will be Rubinos, I guess. My my thing as a child, I didn't do anything. The worst thing I did back in, at Roosevelt, we were, I was able to go home at at, at lunchtime. Roosevelt Elementary School. He's referring to. Yes, thank you. Um. And I took one of my friends, one of my best friends at the time, home, mm-hmm. and, and we were forty five minutes late coming home. <gasps> so I I got a two day deten- t- detention for that. That's some badass shit, right well, there. Well, I'm saying I didn't have any of this badass times like you have. <laughs> I'm a little jealous. It was like, I well, I, well, Bill, you never had boys will be boys moments. Oh, that was my never. boys and boys when I was a kid. This coming coming. You didn't have any fucking mischief. No. No jagging off in class. Hands free like me. Mm-mm-mm. I was a special ed, so I got away with murder. Like I was trying to say, I just sat there. Got away with murder, no. so why didn't you get right, away with get murder? Get away with murder. You couldn't get away with going home 30 minutes late. They didn't kill. <laughs> but you got a two-day detention. Oh, well. So you couldn't get away with anything. I just sat there. My friend had to write a, like a five-page five, uh, essay. Say sorry what he did. So wait, you let your friend take even, all the how heat? How do you even explain being late five pages? A dick slayer? I don't know. Uh, all, I all, I, all late and no play makes Jack a late boy. <laughs> Six pages long. Uh, yeah, I've had some boys will be boys what's moments. The, what's the worst thing you did as a kid? The worst thing I did as a kid... Um. I don't know, it wasn't like immoral. My friends and I used to like to go up on rooftops. So like just jumping around Uptown Park Ridge, like from roof to roof, like uh, that, I guess, trespassing, that'd be considered uh, pretty mischievous. Um, We, 
broke into uh, uh, I don't I forget if it was like English or language arts or whatever it was called at the time <coughs> broke into the office took out a kid uh, his writing portfolio and had a good time laughing at all of his shitty shitty stories um, a little bit of vandalism you know but like I guess nothing as drastic as setting a forest on fire <laughs> But uh, and you got away with all these everything you did as a kid. You didn't get caught once. Well, well, I mean, I didn't want to. I wasn't going to do it if I did get caught. So I made sure I was. So how did you get away with not getting caught? Lay the whole forest on fire. That's what I want to know. Because you get the fuck out of there. How how do you get caught doing that? Being stupid, I guess. Yeah, you're you're, you're inspiring Ross. Ross wants to get home and start lighting shit on fire. I would throw my moments without being a pyro. And we will be live when Ross will do that. Exactly right. Whoa! Tune in next week for a two-hour special, Ross the Pyro. I was a pyro, actually. I, uh, me and John used to go to those woods with where the satanic ritual, the bigger one, because yeah. there was a private golf course, and we used to. Uh, it was I I don't know if this, it was maybe we copied off CKY or Jackass, but we would just shoot an air horn off whenever they putted, and I think they got mad, and then when they did get mad. We took it a step further than Jackass because we lit, we threw a, a, a half stick of dynamite with uh, tied to a spray can in a porta potty, and it melted it down. Mm. And that's another thing we had to run from. Sure, but I, I think that was high school. But and that was great cardiovascular exercise. Exactly. I, I was a fat kid. How 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 am I supposed to motivate to run myself without like you know getting exactly trouble? right? The only thing I would, you saw me, you looked exactly the same. You know. You know, uh, wait. You would do now as a high school. So I so when I saw those videos, you said you look exactly the same. So, I look exactly the same as in high school. Well, you look a little younger, but you you, you wait. He looks younger now. Oh, oh, younger in high school. I saw you criticized me fat, but I didn't see you being fat. I, I thought uh, you looked like a typical high school student. Well, I mean, I I. I uh, you criticize uh, yourself so much, sometimes too much. I know. I agree. I'm sorry. You're a beautiful person. Ro- it's not true. Stop uh, it. Sounds like Ross wants to be the poker. Oh, yeah, a poker. Actually, are we going to... I think we might have to change poker to poke him. It's 2070. Mm. We need equality. <laughs> right, poke him. I, think, I, I was thinking maybe Blackjack should be called White Tyrone. <laughs> yeah. That. Do you know what they call Four Loco in Mexico? What? Cuatro Crazy. <laughs> Cuatro. Oh. Well, that's, S- sorry. Do they was, really? No, oh. no, it's a stupid oh, joke. I actually had my four like lo- lo- four locos back in Satebo. So you had your one loco. Yes, I, I, and I thought it was the most disgusting thing I ever. Drank. Well, what I, flavor did you get? It was like strawberry lime. Okay, as long as it wasn't that shitty coconut one. Well, I was at a, I was watching the Bills Bills game Bills game at my buddy's house, and his stepdad uh, uh, Fred bought, bought the wrong drink, so he said, "You want this." So why not? It, it's free, you know, free. <laughs> he brought the wrong drink. Like, well, his, his, oh, I was supposed to get Sam Adams, but here's a four loco. Uh. He, the, his his friend, what he he wanted like some kind of vodka. So he, he didn't know what. So the, he bought a four loco. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. Yeah. It's you unforgivable. Know, it reminds me. I I had a funnier moment in the park as a kid in Chicago. Oh, here we go again. Yeah, yeah. We um for some reason we played this. I think I think it was around sixth or seventh grade, around where we're like two, three years away from high school. We had this fun thing where, you know, it was the nineties and shit, so there was a lot of narcotics officers coming by and asking, like, Oh, has anyone seen any drugs? You sure? You sure? All right, we'll see you later. You know? <laughs> and have a nice day. Jesus loves you. Yeah, yeah. And and, and they would literally they they like drive their fucking thing onto a like like baseball like uh you know, area like over the fucking curb, and be like, "What are you guys doing here?" Oh, just you know, standing around in a pretending to play baseball as a child, sure. smoking crack. You know, right? Sure, as we all do. Yeah. So, come on, Ross, no jagging off during the show. That's what I want there. All right. No, no, I'm definitely still. No, anyways. So, so we we had this game where, like, instead of playing tag, we'd be like, uh. All right, kids, narcs, and then we try and scatter in a random direction just to fuck with the narcs. Yeah, but uh, funny thing was, so there was this guy. He thought he was like, oh, Johnny Flash type shit. 
he had this convertible. It was this random fuck. He'd like show up at the park every day. He he uh, he was like you know those people that look like they're different species because they're so orange from tanning. Like Ross and, or like, myself. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Did you guys audition at, like Jersey Shore or anything? No. That Trump look like. Yeah, yeah. Boom! Bill gets political. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 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 like Trump, and and so he, but I mean, this guy was more like, he was redder than Trump. He looks like you know when you overcook sausages on the barbecue. Sure, that's, that's how this guy fucking looked. Like I'm like, I the the more his ego grew, I'm like, when is that cancer coming? You know, and so he he would pull over, where the narcs pull over, like on the fucking sidewalk, go and use the bathroom, and he and so one day. Like, everybody had sick of this shit because we're like, dude, you're picking up a girl where there's a bunch of kids. So one day he drives by, and I was, unluckily, I was buying ice cream when the ice cream man came. Mm. So I'm standing by the curb. Wait, what did you normally get at the ice cream truck? I think I got the one that was, it looks, you know how there's the Oreo sandwich one? Mm, yeah, like the cookie, like ice cream sandwich. like Yeah. Yeah. But it was it was that, but it was on a stick, and then instead of uh, chocolate, it was like white, and it had a wrestler painting on it, and you get a wrestler trading card with it. <laughs> I still got all my WWF wrestler <laughs> trading cards for my ice cream. <laughs> I don't, wait, was it like you know those like strawberry shortcake bars? Was it kind of like that? No, no, it was just plain like vanilla inside, and then just plain like white. Uh, gotcha. Like cracker on top, okay. kind kind of like, like the Oreo crunch, one. Like. Yeah. I don't. I don't know what it was called, honestly. I just know it. Ha- it had a drawing of a wrestler on top, and it came with a card. Nice. Okay. But anyway. so I'm waiting, and for and and, and the like. I'm opening my thing. Ice cream truck driver drives away. This guy roars and has like a drag race engine. Scares the fuck out of me. I jump back, and it literally like made me tear up because I'm a kid and it's loud as fuck. He's like, <laughs> and goes to use the bathroom. I was so fucking <laughs> pissed. I run over to his convertible, shit on his front seat, and then I run in the bushes. <laughs> he comes back screaming his fucking ass off because he just sat and shit. And then, and then me, I'm like, oh my, dude, I, I, that's like the one time I remember. Well, one of the one, maybe one of the top three moments where I was so traumatically scared for my life <laughs> because I'm like, dude, I gotta run, but I don't want to like. S- like have like smeared shit swamp ass from running right because because i didn't you can't wipe in the bushes so so i just i literally i just kind of like i think i tried to wipe with like a pine cone and then i and then i just (laughs) tried to walk home to not look suspicious waddle like yeah yeah. and then and then my mom was just like why do you smell like shit don't oh do you have problem again after four years you know like so, yeah, and that was th- that was the end of that. Well, and plus, if you ran, like, oh, I wonder who shit on my car seat. Yeah, exactly. It couldn't be that kid exactly. running away holding yeah. his ass. Like that, that. That's why I walked. Bad. So I d- and I don't and I'm not even not even trying to be cocky. I don't think I ever saw him pull up again after that. Wow. So, you you never. You so so you never shat in someone's car seat. No, but I took a piss in a in a house that was being cons- on work done. Why? Why would you do that, Ross? Oh, me, me, and me and John. I, we, I, I gotta use the bathroom seriously. This house isn't being worked on. What are you trying to pull here? I seriously gotta use it. Do we All right. Take a break? Yeah, yeah, break. All right. You're fucked up, dude. We'll pull that mic close, damn it. All right, and welcome back. To those just tuning in, Ross, our special guest tonight, has just promised to sing everyone a door song. Ross, take it away. I don't know the song that I'm singing. Is this is the season? I got the Jim Jim Morris voice down. What do you guys think? Uh, I think our fans in Ireland will really, really appreciate that. Uh, Riders on the road. On the road? Yeah. Uh, Don't interrupt, Phil. Ross, keep going. Take it away. That's all I know at the moment. Was that singing or you were just saying that? I was just saying that. Okay. All right. An intimate evening with Sir Dino. Yes. Yes. Sir Dino. All right. Uh, 
Yeah, we're go ahead, Bill. No, all right. So, I'm not really good at doing laundry, so I run out of underwear pretty frequently. Yeah, but now it's getting colder. It's December in Chicago. So what I've been doing, and Ross, I don't know if you've ever done this, but instead of wearing boxers, which I'm accustomed to wearing, I'll just wear pajamas as boxers. And that's uh, that's what's going on with me. That's and, cool. And it's great. It's like wearing long underwear. But Why don't you wear long underwear? Well, because it's hard to shit and piss, right? Well, like I don't own any long underwear, and it's like why I'll just wear boxers mm-hmm. or pajama pants. So normally I do boxers jammies and then my work pants outside but you know no laundry so i was out of boxers so yep. i just do pajama pants regular pants and it's cool it's fine i stay toasty um but yesterday i was on my or not yesterday like two days ago i was on my way home and my pajamas started sliding down like so I don't know. I'm going to try and paint a picture for you guys with my words. Was there somebody walking behind you doing this? Mm, Did no. you let them know? No. No. Man, it was like having a reverse wedgie where like your underwear falls down and it's like you know you're not going to lose it because like there's no way it's going to fall off. Yeah, yeah. It's not like that, you know, the Zoolander uh, walk off where he yeah. pulls underwear out. It's not like that. It's just like, all right, it's falling down. Every step I take, it moves a little further down, but it's going to get caught by my crotch. And yeah. that's just where that's where the waistband of my underwear slash pajama pants were. Mm-hmm. So, like, for the 30-minute walk home from from the blue line <laughs> to my house, I was doing, like, a cowboy, like, sidle, mm-hmm. you know, which is, like, fucking pajama pants, waistband <laughs> around my <laughs> that, mid-thighs. That reminds me of that Primus video where they're cowboys. That... What is that? Too many puppies or <laughs> too many puppies? I don't, I don't know. No, the may, maybe we're known as Big Brown Beaver. Maybe I, I'm not a big music video guy. Okay, but anyway, that's <laughs> that's what's going on in my life. I'm, I'm sure you're really happy you asked. Um, yeah. No, that that reminds me of um. Uh, well, it reminds me. Uh, I think I have a story, but I was of uh, relating to this, but. That ha- what happens to me, I don't know. It's kind of, I guess, similar uh, aggravation. I I started. I'm trying to. I'm starting to think if I should run naked on the treadmill, because whenever I run with boxers and shorts, my nutsack pops out, and also I get like a wedgie in back, but then it goes down in front, and then like I'm like. It's it's like s- slapping your nuts left and right on your legs, and it's just torture. Like you're eventually out of breath from getting like kicked in the balls type yeah. feeling. And I don't know. T- so I started running just in my boxers, and it depends if you wear briefs or boxers. Sure. Usually briefs is okay, but then they're so tight a nut sack might pop out. Sure. And that reminds me that I didn't even know this. Do you guys know that it's a f- medical fact that one of your nuts is supposed to be bigger than the other? Yes, it's supposed to look like an avocado tree. I don't learned that from having the tusk of cancer. An avocado tree? When avocado are being grown. It's supposed to look like the tree, like with branches and shit? It's, it, it, the avocado, uh, on, uh, one is on the top, the other one's on the bottom. That's how they, they grow. So that, that's how your tusk So like an avocado, out. not the tree, though. Well, that, what how avocados are, are grown. I don't yeah. Know, yeah. Well, the avocado itself, not the tree. I'm saying They're, I'm they, not going to have they, fucking they branches grow, coming out of it. two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I see what you're saying. So how I known that is because when I when I had the days that I, I was uh, D- is it like a Siamese twin? One on what, like like a like a ball sack. One on on the top. One on the bottom. So okay. If if you have cancer, it's like one's big on on each side. Yeah. So that's how you can tell if you have uh, tesco. Oh, when it's when they're equal size. No, one's bigger, but they're, uh, they're not one on top of each other. Okay. You don't understand. Did you, what? Did you know this, Bill? No. Yeah. yeah. No, this is news that, to me. The, the The reason why it reminds me of that is because I have a friend who, uh, her name's Nancy. I won't mention her last name. Maybe she doesn't want to be. She's like a genius. She was the person who, she grew up in Park Ridge. She got straight A's on everything. Had very. She had a really controlling cunt mom. And what do you know? She was best friends with my mom. Hey. No. But, oh. But, it's like, I'm not even kidding. It's my mom's her only friend, and and she's my mom's only friend. 
but they uh yeah she had a very controlling mom she she and she's like a really renowned fucking doctor right now uh she she's she's got like two two doctorates she and and the funny thing is <laughs> she's single what when it, uh i don't know hook a weather up i don't know man uh i'll i'll, I'll have to see you're stealing that's, my shtick, Ross. She she told me she was my girlfriend when we were six years old, so I don't know Ooh, how if oh. the status of that. No, but any anyways, she uh, the the, the two times that <laughs> the two times that I called because I only see her like on holidays, and it's just so you you know that type of situation where you have somebody where it's like, uh, they're kind of an acquaintance, they're kind of a family friend, but you call them when you need them only, you know? Sure. So. The two times that I called her, the first time was when I when I tweaked out on that edible and I told my brother to kill me because I thought I was going to be mentally handicapped for the rest of my life. Was this at the Thrill Kill? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So so that was one time where I called her because I, I, I literally the conversation was, could it be possible that when you hallucinate, you realize that you're a homosexual? Because I th- because I was like tweaking and I thought I was I I just transformed into a homosexual, and this was while I'm high. And then she called me back. She's like, "Uh, is everything okay still? Are you alive?" Because I I I'm like, "What?" I told I asked you if I is it okay that I'm gay now? Because I, I I didn't remember any of this. And then the second time, I was just driving and I'm just like, "So I'm wondering, uh, is there any way that you can determine on the phone if I have ball cancer?" And she and she explained this to me that one is supposed to be bigger than the other. So I didn't I didn't know this, and I guess it's because there one of them has a vein that's supposed to be bigger, because it has a uh, bigger flow. So I guess it kind of works like a uh, scales, like an what? avocado tree. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it was uh, a lot of different kind of Tesco cancers. There's like three or four different kinds. So this the, the, the what are the different kinds? I I can't tell you at the top of my head. It, the the one I had was called melanoma. Which the singer from Testament had one not really real had that kind of cancer in. Uh, I thought melanoma is like I'm you know I'm you know uh, Stan's grandpa in South Park, where he's got like all those spotty things on his hands. I thought that's melanoma. I'm probably saying it wrong. Melanoma, it's one of it's a. Uh, I'm, I'm saying it wrong. I know it, but it it, 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 it it there was different cancers. I can't. No, really but but I thought that's what it was. Do you know what I'm talking about, Bill? Yeah, I thought melanoma was skin cancer, but I don't. Isn't it like those uh, where you get like moles all over you? I think he has liver spots. Oh, is that? So I don't. I don't know. I'm, call Nancy. Where? Yeah. Call, oh yeah, I gotta call her now. <laughs> no, I'm, no, it, it's 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 something similar to. Uh, I can't remember, I can't pronounce it correctly. Yeah. Mm. But that, not to change the subject entirely, but I'm going to anyway. Uh, I received a message from one of our loyal listeners, mm-hmm. and this is a semi-professional boxer from Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah. And he sent me a message saying, Hey, Bill, your friend didn't understand. Get out. And then he said, quality control. And he's obviously referring to our first discussion that we had where you explained your thoughts about the movie Get Out. Do you have a response to our loyal listener, Phil? Quality control? Yeah. I don't know what that, that means. I don't know. I think... I don't, I, I don't know what you mean by that. Well, he, not quality control, but what do you have to say? He says you didn't get the movie. I didn't get the movie? Yeah. Uh, I think I, I'm pretty sure I got it, but I, ju- I just didn't think it was a good movie. I mean, when's, like, I mean, overall, for example, when you think of a really good movie, you know, can can you guys think of recent movies that are, like, really good that really hit your heart? Like, what's the most recent one that you thought was really good? I was going to, like, I'd say action, probably like John Wick. Wait, like recent, like, that just came out or recently? Like yeah, rec- re- re- recently, like, because, you know, people are like, oh, you know, fucking crazy. St- Star Wars was a fucking mess, even though I think Star Wars is complete shit. Not going to get into it. And I've heard mixed but, things about The Last Jedi, but that's yeah. neither oh, here I, nor there. Please change the subject because I, oh, I don't agree what you're saying about Star Wars. So that's offending you? It's pissing me off. It's pissing you. Did you see The Last Jedi? No, but I'm seeing it Monday. Ooh, spoiler alert. Well, Jar Jar Binks isn't in it. Well, well, w- what I was getting at with get, is is just that there's... I, I completely... I, I, I know that I completely got it. I just thought it was cheesy. It was kind of... I, I can read through what, what when something's being produced. 
you want to know that is it, is it trying to send a message or is it just being like an attention whore? You know, is it just kind of sure. being like a shock thing? You know, like you can tell, I guess, band wise, you know, some somebody like, I don't know, Mayhem or Gorgoroth, where they're fucking uh, sacrificing shit on stage, throwing blood at people. And they're not even known because I, I mentioned the names that like people don't even know. They're doing it because that's just what they do. They don't give a fuck if they get in trouble or whatever. That's they're, they're devil worship, worshiping son of a bitch, crazy fucks. They're doing it because they want to do it. And then you got somebody like Marilyn Manson who, oh, this year I'm going to be covered in tar and dance and, you know, fucking uh, cr- crutches and what's that sh- in stilts and spread my legs open. Oh, people aren't paying attention to me. Well, now I'm just going to be transgender and make mechanical animals and have amazing makeup. Oh, no, oh, people aren't paying attention to me. Well, now I'm going to sing about being in a Nazi uniform and shooting up the school and rock is dead. You know, it's just like that. that that's a different. I, I don't think it was authentic. You know, so I, do you think it was more for shock value? Yeah, it was more for else. shock value, and 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 that's what I'm saying is any movie, any movie, I'm not just saying Get Out that's made for shock value shouldn't be given awards. Should shouldn't be. I don't I don't even give a fuck about awards. Half the movies that get awards are bullshit, but it's just like it shouldn't be uh, considered something that's that's hyped up and talked about. Sure, and I can't really answer your question about recent movies that have hit me hard. Yeah, because. The last two movies I saw in theaters, as mm-hmm. in the last movies I've seen, period, were the new It, which I enjoyed, but I also liked the book, and I loved yeah. the original movie. And then before that, I saw the new Power Rangers movie in theaters. Mm-hmm. And then before that was the new Jurassic Park. Yeah. So I'm not a big movie buff. Yeah. But I just thought, you oh, know. Oh, I loved it. I loved to criticize movies and music and whatever, you know. I sure. Lo- I, I love to discuss it. Sure. The truth, you've heard it here, on hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing. Yep. Ross, you were saying you hate Star Wars. No, I actually love Star Wars. Which is your favorite movie? Um, Emperor Strikes Back. Okay, that's the one with Yoda. Um, Yoda was in two of them. Oh, three. I, I think he was in Return of the Jedi as well. Was that it? Was that when Luke goes to the Dago boss system? And I I don't remember. All right. So what happens in The Empire Strikes Back? Uh, Luke discovers that uh, Doc Vader was his father. So was that the last one? No, that was uh, like the last one of the original three. No, that's Return of the Jedi. That's when the Rebels won and Doc Vader got killed by the Emperor. Okay, so what about the Empire Strikes Back really resounded with you? Because you you finally found, you find out that Luke, Vader is uh, Luke Skywalker's father, and that's it. Like that's that was that's the, the moment. I, that's one of my favorite moments when that and um, when Luke Skywalker's got um, his hand cut cut off by uh, Vader. Sure. Uh, did you see Episode One, The Phantom Menace? I haven't seen it in a year, so I can't really comment. But what about the pod racing? That I was pretty cool, that. right? Wasn't that cool? I think that's the only good thing about that movie. Oh, dude, Sebulba was so cool. Yeah. And little Anakin working at the at yes, Watto's I junkyard. I that part, yes. Yeah, dude, and Queen Amidala. <laughs> I thought it was a little too political for me. Well, that's too all the political. Star Wars movies are. Oh, it's, shit, we're getting political here. <laughs> it's... It's all politics, man. It's but the first uh, episode one, episode two was very, very p- political. What I thought was a little too deep. In but I think the original three were very political, and that's why I never really enjoyed them as a kid because it was all like this intergalactic senate meeting, and it's like this is fucking stupid. Well, I guess I didn't see it that way. I was just blown away about the the special effects. Right. And Luke, don't don't people usually hate those ones with Anakin in it or whatever? Yes, that's what I'm saying. And you're saying you like it? No, I like the ones that came out in the late seventies and early eighties. Right, but yeah. Anakin was technically in those as well. Yeah. Okay, okay. Because Anakin was Darth Vader. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The only thing I like about the Free Secret, I thought the Revenge of the Sith was okay, but was, again, it has the moments of being cheesy. I think Luke, um, George Lucas' writing is 
not the best. Was that the one with Darth Maul and all the pod racing? No, that was the first one. Okay. I think you're trying to test me right now, and I know my Star Wars. Okay. No, right. we're, we're just talking for the audience. Yeah, I'm just making sure this I... This isn't about you, Ross. Everything's about me. Oh. That. Okay, so Bill, what, what do you think of Star Wars? That I, uh, you know, the movies, give or take, like whatever, they were cool. But I absolutely loved, uh, back when I used to play video games, I don't know if you ever played Knights of the Old Republic on the Xbox. Yeah, that that's a great game. Oh yeah. my god, that one in the sequel, that yeah. shit was so cool. I own it. I I, I, I think. Can can I tell what I think, or are you get, or was I cutting you off? Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, Bill. I was telling no, you. Oh, sorry. No, I thought you were asking Ross for permission. No, dude. By all means. Oh yeah. Well, no. I I feel like the whole franchise from the start was kind of like. He wrote a really good fabricated story. Like he put everything together really well. It was a great. It was almost like biblical the way he he made this entirely new world, almost like a Lord of the Rings type thing. You know, sure. where there's every different character has different traits and 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 the 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 good thing was that he got enough funding to portray that in film. And the best part is, is that he put all that stuff together well. But it's but at the end of the day, it's just like yeah, it's great. I would not go nuts about it. You know. I mean, like, like I was just saying right now, I got a variety stickers pack in the mail from eBay, <laughs> sure. and, and and half the fucking thing is Star Wars shit. It's like, why, you know? Uh, what I think is super cool is what the first Star Wars film came out in what seventy seven, something like that, yeah, seventy eight, like yeah. late seventies, yeah. And here we are, forty years later, and this shit is still relevant, and kids still love it. There's Lego Star Wars and. There's, uh, you know, Star Wars cartoons on Cartoon yeah. Network, and they're still coming you, out you don't feel, movies. You don't feel like that a uh, part of it was the, because of the hype? What do you mean? Well, be, just people constantly saying, oh, yeah, that's the shit, that's the shit. You got to, you know, and, well, ju- I, and just passing it on for generations. Well, I think it's very much that, but that's beside the point. Like, Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I you see. You know, like, yeah. I just think it's really cool that, like, same thing. <laughs> That they're coming out with like Captain America movies and Spider Man is still a thing. Yeah. And they're even older than mm-hmm. the Star Wars. Like they first made their appearance in what, the forties, the fifties? Yeah. And here we are now sixty years later. And like yeah. people still give a shit about Spider Man. Like Yeah. I don't know. And to take a step back, like people still read William Shakespeare. And that shit's like several hundred years like old. I think it's really, really cool. When humanity and that and that's kind of ties in with what you were saying with the review of your friend, that it's it's tough to make a new movie that has that type of historical impact. You know, sure. So for example, I would ag- I would agree with you that it was both its were great movies. I think slightly it'll be a slightly historical impact. You know, whenever somebody mentions, "Oh, I'm creeped out by clowns," it immediately goes to it. Oh yeah, you know. And I, I just don't, I don't know. I just, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, I was just going to say, like, I'm in a book club yeah. beyond this, and we just, one of the books we read uh, two books ago was a collection of Stephen King short stories, Nightmares and Dreamscapes, and I shit you not, every single one of those fucking stories had been turned into a movie, and yeah. not all of them were good, but like, I don't know, so going back to It, like Stephen King is just like this monolith of just cultural, like production. Like yeah, he's got the Midas oh hey touch. we we can't write a movie. Let's read a Stephen King short story and yeah, fucking yeah. exactly right. Like shit, it's Stephen King. People are gonna watch it. People will buy the DVDs. Yeah, and it's just really. And so the world's gonna the film world's gonna end when Stephen King's gone. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. I don't know. I just think it's neat that there are certain things. Star Wars, for example, or the writing of Stephen King that just strikes so deeply some yeah, like human vein mm-hmm. that it is just like this cash cow money making machine. Yeah. Like this is it. This is what people want to see. This is what people want to read. Yeah. And we're gonna make money on it. We're gonna capitalize the fuck out of it. Yeah. But before you can make money on it, like there has to be some solid content there. And yeah. You know, I 
like it's beyond me what makes solid content, but just society as a whole has deemed Star Wars as great. They've deemed Spider-Man and Captain America as great, you know, and all these other facets, like these cultural mainstays. And I just, I think it's really, really fascinating. Mm -hmm. Uh, can I ask you this? How what? long did uh, uh, Bill? How long did you did read Ed? Pull that mic again. How long does it take no, you just to pull it, man? How long yeah. does it take you to did it, you take you to read the book Ed? So when I've been trying to read it, it's a long book and it's very difficult to read. So, the last time I read it and I did not finish it, I was in seventh or eighth grade. So it's really difficult for me to judge. I think I was looking on Audible, which is how I do all my reading now. I don't really read. I listen to audiobooks. I think it is at least 60, 70 hours. Like, it's a behemoth. It's a 1,400-page book. It's fucking I, I have the book. massive. Yes. But, oh, baby, that's, like, really powerful stuff. And I think that, even though I never finished it, way better than the movies. But of the movies, I thought the original one, like, from 93. I might have asked you this. Have you, have you ever seen Stand By Me? Yes, many, many years ago. Okay. That's based on a Stephen King short story. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I, I, I never, I, I've heard nothing but good things about it. And that it's like just a, like pretty much grown up as a boy or something, like yeah. friendship or something. Exactly right. Like and in I the 40s or 50s. And, and, and I still have never, never gotten to seeing it. It's, I don't know, it's all right. It's just about a bunch of kids going to see a dead body. Yeah, and then they're like just telling stories along well, the way. Well, and even even that summary, just like well, like where where you said right there, sometimes sounds better than something like Maximum Overdrive. <laughs> <You know? laughs> well, that was a cinematic masterpiece. Oh yeah, that'll go down. Uh, in, that's going uh, in that fucking vault of uh, exactly you know, right. Hundred best American movies or whatever. Yeah, right. The, you know, the one I we were trying to read as a kid was I had a hard time reading was Insomniac. By Stephen King and Bag of Bones. I have not read either of them. Have you heard of them? I've heard of Bag of Bones, but I saw the movie. In, I saw the movie Insomnia, but I never. Heard That's that. a different story. It wasn't a Stephen King. Okay. Yeah. Bag of Bones in Insomnia. It, it was. Very, and it, I didn't even know until I started reading Stephen King books how how graphic those books are. Oh, dude! Yeah, Stephen King loves a good sex scene. Yes, like as often as he can. Yeah, exactly. In both Insomnia and Bag of Bones, both violence and sex. It's like I thought I was re re reading a poem for a while there. How how deep and you know he's talking about you know you know sex and how books. deep. Yes, exactly. Okay. Mm mm mm. So maybe that's it. Maybe that's the cultural phenomenon. Maybe that's. You, that's that's the element that you need. Just like really shitty, weird sex scenes, courtesy of Stephen King. Well, you know, you know what I, you know what else was another recent movie I was gonna say that I, it's not gonna hit history, but to me, I think it's gonna be one of the best movies. Yeah. Have you guys seen Donnie Darko? Mm, no, I think that was fucking amazing. Who's in it? The the singer, uh, Thirty Seconds of Mars, Jared Leto. I love Jared Leto as an actor. As a, yeah, as an actor, he's. Yeah. Have you have you ever seen it, Ross? That's one with like the bunny, right? Yeah. My Did favorite you? one was what's it called? Uh, Requiem of the Dream. What have you seen the one with the bunny or no? I have not, Ross. Have okay. you? No. Okay. Yeah. No. It's it's fucking because it's about him having a sleeping disorder, and he. Do you know what it's about or no at all, Bill? N no, Ross. That's why. So he has a sleeping disorder where he he does things while he's asleep. He just sleepwalks and does shit. And then, uh, and then, spoiler, whatever he's gonna, he 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 has this imaginary friend that he constantly meets in his dreams. The rabbit. Yeah, who tells him when exactly the world's gonna end, and uh, the night that he tells him that it's gonna end, a uh, piece of an airplane falls through his bedroom from the sky. So it's sort of like his disorder saved him. Hmm. Be, and he write somehow when, when when he goes sleepwalking, he constantly writes, "Don't worry, mom," or something, or "Where's Donnie on the fridge, uh, dry erase board," hmm. to let him know that he's sleepwalking. Somehow he like perfected it in his sleepwalking. And then and then the movie goes. I don't really remember well, but he 
he just goes on to sort of into this whole uh the black hole and the whole Stephen Hawking theory of time travel <laughs> and, sure. and and how there's like uh, eventually he starts seeing there's like a little bubble that comes out of everybody's chest where he can predict everyone's move and it's i i i didn't know how to call it cuz i was like that's fucking that's it's it's a really mind fuck of a movie like it's uh it's really interesting it's something that i wouldn't ever have seen and i guess it falls into science fiction but i don't know i think that was a really re- really good movie well it's you for know. sure a cult classic like i know that and like what's yeah. eating gilbert grape and that's j- that's a uh, leonardo dicaprio all right phil that's leonardo dicaprio um, okay but you know like not like super mainstream, but just has like these. Yeah. I put like. Or for example, comparing. I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut, but no. comparing to the hype of Get Out, recently, the room is fucking huge. Now. Sure. Have you? Have you, you? I'm sure you heard of this shit with Tommy Wiseau. But I've. We saw it together. Yeah. Right. So it's so it's just like yeah, it was hilarious. It still is hilarious, and I still think it's fucking great. And now the disaster artist came out, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's sort of, I mean, I don't want to be the guy that's like, oh, I knew it before it was popular. But now it's like super fucking huge because uh, I actually saw it in Chicago at the Music Box last weekend with Kelly. What, the disaster artist? Yeah. Okay. And uh, that was like a premiere because um, what happened is uh, it, no, we're not sponsoring Slipknot. No, I'm making Knock that, that shit over. I'm not making a point about how. No way. <laughs> no, no. Take that. No, no. I'm kidding. No, but it, it, no. And it, so it was supposed to be released only in independent theaters, and because they didn't know how it was gonna kick off, Tommy was so didn't even really care about it being released. It was just James Franco being a huge fan. Did I talk about this before? No. Okay. Yeah. So 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 we saw it, and I was like, yeah, it's. I I really enjoyed it because nobody knows about Tommy was so's life. You know that he's a, like a super recluse. Like no, nobody knows fucking. Nobody knows anything about. It. Nobody knows where he's from. Nobody knows his past history. Why he's so fucking rich. And then you hear, you know that he paid six million dollars to have that movie made, right? What the room? Yeah, he paid six million dollars. His own movie. Or do you want me to spoil it for you or no? Uh, I have no idea who Tommy mm-hmm. Lo- so is. Okay. All right. Well, am I saying his last name correctly? Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I have no idea who you're talking about. You've never heard of the room? No, I don't have a movie belt. This is, I'm you guys are kidding me right now. No, no. Well, I'm guessing you know I can't. I have I can't say I've seen everything, but I, I, I've seen it a lot of movies. No, it was a, it was like a cult classic. It was something that it was independent movie. You know. Yeah, and it was the whole thing about it was that it was so shitty that it was like hilarious, but. It was the the director, the writer, the everyone like the actor. His name is Tommy Wiseau, and this was supposed to be like his crown jewel of film, and it was his life's work, and it was a fucking joke. And the disaster artist, this movie that Phil is now referring to, is a documentary about, or like a it's like a biopic, a biopic, yeah, yeah about Tommy Wiseau making the movie and being upset that people are laughing at it but it's still impactful and mm-hmm. yeah so anyway if you think star wars is good you got to see the room yeah exactly the room needs to be sent in stickers and people dressing up for it at comic con as Tommy was so you know that shit would be fucking great but and anyways the, so the disaster art is blew up like crazy and it's like dude it was a good movie for the room fans but now it's just like being referenced everywhere. There's people making parodies of it, YouTube poops of it, and it's just like, dude. You're fucked up, dude.